What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Haikyuu, Season 2, Episode 7. Everyone was doing some self-improvement last episode and I was so proud of them. So fucking proud of them. Like, they- I know we had quite the debate in the comments, which, um, I feel like everyone was actually really relatively nice about it, so props to you guys. Thank you also for being respectful to each other. Um, and, um, yeah, I, and that was on episode 5, I haven't uploaded episode 6 yet, so I guess I shouldn't say last video, second to last, but, um, yeah, I, um, I think they all needed to just kind of understand where everyone, where each of them was coming from, especially Kageyama and, uh, Sho, um, yeah, and all, they all needed to improve on things, um, expand their skill set because ultimately that's just going to make you guys stronger as a team like yes it is definitely good for you to improve yourself for yourself but ultimately you being a better player helps your team as well but um just don't let all of it get to your head and don't be a selfish player out on that court because when you act selfishly oftentimes you're probably just going to get in the way of your team's success like you do want to end up winning these matches at the end of the day so yes Outside of matches, practice as hard as you can. Inside the match, though, work together well, boys. <laughs> Don't be, like, chomping at the bit to try to show off what you learned in, at, at, the, um, at the cost or sacrifice of the overall success of your team. I just don't want to see that happen again where somebody gets a little bit too eager on the court. Again, everything in moderation. As someone brought it up. Like, it's good to be greedy, you know? Like, uh, Greed said in Full Metal Alchemist, you know, everyone wants something. And I do think that it is healthy to be a bit greedy. You have to, you have to go for what you want. I just think that it's moderation, guys, moderation, you know. Oftentimes I think people only see greed as, um, at its, um, in a, in a negative way, like when people take it too far, <laughs> um, but I think they, the, uh, again, I feel with, with Full Metal, each of those sins, it was, um, they're all natural human emotions and you, you can't just ignore them. They're a part of you, you know, nurture them. Just don't ignore them because uh, obviously like this is when they're just going to get out of control. You know, don't, don't starve yourself of those things. So show, don't. Don't hold back constantly because you want to help your team and you don't want to be selfish. Be selfish. It's okay to be selfish. Just don't be too selfish. That was my message. But um, I think uh, some people took it the wrong way or w interpreted it the wrong way, um, which probably didn't help because of me getting a little upset about the... Which I misinterpreted what Nekoma's coach was saying. So thanks for you know enlightening me in the comments about... He didn't mean verbally say you're the best, but, like, say it with your body, with the way you play on the court. You know, be the best you that you can possibly be. Um, so, yeah, anyway, enough talking. And, by the way, can I just say, bear with me. If I'm a little slow today, I have a headache. It's my first day of my period. It's always the hardest day for me. <sighs> it's a bitch, but I'm hoping Haikyuu distracts me, takes my mind off of it, and just puts a smile on my face like it always does. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to see show. Okay. All right. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. As always, bunch of Patreon-exclusive shows. So if you're looking for some content that you can't find on the channel, Check out my Patreon. Again, link is in the description. But yeah, um, other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. What is this for? Oh, there's second, um, he said see you two weekends from now for another practice match, maybe? Why is it buffering? No, I might have to reload the page. It's kind of been sitting for a while. Yeah, I might. Hang on, guys. Yeah, there it goes. 
幹細胞はいいよね。好き。今回も早朝に向こうへ到着予定です。運転は僕とウカイ君が。He looks so tired. I wish your grandpa was coming. <laughs> okay, let's go. No losses. Oh, Yachi, hi. <laughs> Come on, give him what he needs. What he wants. Sorry. Why did you? St oh, it was too short. Okay, I thought. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought such a stupid thing. <laughs> you won't believe. Oh, I took it off the screen. Son of a bitch. I'll fix it in editing. Um, you won't believe what I just thought, bro. You won't believe what I just thought. Honestly, I thought Sho could like. I don't. I know this is what I thought because. Okay. Anyway, I wasn't consciously thinking Sho could fly. Oh my god. Okay, I'm embarrassed to even say it. I was like, show, why did you drop down so soon? Like, he can control that bitch. It's gravity. All he did was jump. He's not flying. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I mean, they are the crows. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. He was like, oh my god. <gasps> he was trying to... Yeah, he was doing that for you. Oh. I can't wait. And Sho's used to hitting all kinds of different tosses now. Oh. It'll take... So Yo! Sho! Yo, Sho! Good shit! Yo, this is what happens when we have a good coach. Oh! Sho, I'm so proud of you. Mm hmm I can't wait to see how different everyone else is, too. He's laughing over there. He's like, eh, 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 eh. They realized it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure my face is so red. I can't stop smiling. Come on, Asahi. Show us what you got. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. That, like you said in the comments, someone said this. This is what a practice match is for. Oh, oh, my adrenaline. I need to... My heart's like, boom, 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 boom. Going so fast right now. Oh. <laughs> They're trying a bunch of new things. Ooh, oh, I feel like it's not gonna go well for all of them at first because they haven't played together yet <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> It's okay, it's all right. <laughs> They'll figure it out mm -mm. Mm -hmm. They've 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 done this all separately now. They've got to come together and they gotta figure it out. They gotta synchronize all their shit now. Yeah, we didn't see him practice anything. Are we finally gonna get into his storyline? Please. That's alright, boys. Maybe just practice. I don't know. I'll... There you go. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I, I, I think... Uh... I think you guys need to practice together. スキーは今からカーブやるんだけど、スキーは。僕はプロ入ってやるから。あの。何？スキーは何か自主練とかしないのかなってのが練習なんて嫌ってほどやってるし。そう。ガムシャラにやればいいってもんじゃないでしょ
Let's go, Suki. Nice. Thanks, Kuro. Thank you. I know you did that on purpose. Yeah, let's go. Talk to each other. Yachi. Yachi. <laughs> Trying to get them to work it out. Come on. Thank you, Yachi. Oh. Oh, he is good. I saw him swoop that shit. クロ。<笑> Suki. Why? No, he has no confidence, bro. He just gives up so easily. What's the point of trying? What's the point of practicing? What's it gonna change? Yup. They, he, they realized, like, ooh, like, you guys made him feel bad about himself. あの身長だし。それはあの身長もずのも持ち合わせているメガネ君が日々ちゃんを対等どころか叶わない存在として見てるなんてさ。サポーターはすれてきた。I <笑> I know how he feels. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just a club. Suki. <laughs> he covers all of it up with this like hard exterior like he talks shit and stuff but he's sensitive Suki if it's just a club why are you here you could quit you don't have to be here oh that's sweet <laughs> Maybe you should apologize to him. Why are you apologizing to them? Uh, very private. Does he feel inferior to his brother? Like he'll never be as good as his brother? Is that the way his family treats him? <laughs> you should neither, Suki. Don't let him just pass you up. 
He tries just enough. Mm. I mean, I get that. If you want someone out there who's gonna give it 110%, not just enough to fake by. Go. You have to share the court, show. Good job, Asahi. He said, I'm not just gonna let him take my spot. Not just gonna let him pass me up. Yeah. I'm glad that Shell stopped himself. Shell really wanted that ball, man. Whew. I was so worried he was gonna do it again. I'm glad that he looked at him to check, you know? You're not okay. You're not. I wish you would talk to someone. Why do you keep everything bottled up? Someone needs to talk to him. Someone who's gonna push a little more, you know? Maybe Kuro should be the one, because they're all too scared. They're trying to respect his boundaries, but sometimes you need to push him, you know? Are you gonna say it? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, he wouldn't even be on this team. I don't want this episode to end. I wanna I wanna know more. I wanna know more about I wanna know more about who he is and why he is the way he is. And I kind of want to understand the way that he is. Maybe the way he is isn't maybe who I think he is isn't exactly who he is, you know? Maybe that's just the perception he gives off intentionally. Very closed off. Seems like he doesn't care about volleyball, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think he, he probably loves the sport. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't be on that team if he didn't like it. Why Why even, if you don't really care, why be on the team? Unless, unless he was forced to play by his parents or guilt tripped into it. Did his brother die? And now he feels like he has to like take his brother's place, be his brother for his parents. I don't know. Or maybe his brother's alive and well, and maybe he just feels like he has to live up to that expectation or that standard that his brother set, and maybe he put that on himself, or maybe his parents did, I don't know. But instead of trying to meet that expectation or just crush it and surpass it, he just gives up. Like, there's no hope. I'll never be good enough. I'll never get better. He just gives it just enough. Just enough. Is it skate by or skirt by? Anyway. Um, and I get where Ukai is coming from where he's like, if he's going to keep doing that, I'm going to have to change up my regulars and my rotation because I can't have someone out there who's not going to give it their all because of, at, that's holding the rest of the team back. Um, because again, it's a team sport. You're not out there on that court alone, you know? Like, all of them are, they all worked on things individually, like we saw, right? But when they tried to put it all together, it just, it doesn't work yet. They're going to have to figure that out over time. But it would really help if they practiced together outside of a match. I mean, in a match, tensions are high. Um, and I just feel like 
you could do you would do better in your matches if you were able to practice as a group in a calmer setting um, where you don't have all these eyes on you as well. So I don't know when they're going to do that or if they're even going to do that. Or maybe they're doing it and they're not showing it. But like we saw a Kageyama in show practice, but that's just two people working together. Like you guys need to have like um, like some practice matches with like each other. Like, you know, six, what is it, six and six? Um, so I don't know, but maybe they'll do that next episode. Maybe they won't because they're focusing on Suki's arc right now. I don't know how many episodes it's going to cover, or going to take to cover it, though, but I'm like, I'm really interested in this. And I'm proud of Sho for, um, like, stepping back and letting Asahi get the ball because it was his. They called him out to do it, to get the ball. I, think, I don't know if Noya did or someone else. Maybe Sugawara. I don't know. But Sho, you saw him. He licked his lips. He was, like, ready to eat that ball up. Make it his meal. But... You know, that was, it was Asahi's ball to devour, to just crush it, bro. And, um, again, passion, drive, like, all of that, like, where you, you guys, your potential, seeing how much you've grown, like, all of that, like, intimidating each other and pushing each other to do better. You guys are rivals to each other, but you're not on opposite teams. You are on the same team. It can definitely, it will help push each other, but I just really want to make sure that they don't again get too greedy and get in each other's way um don't play selfishly out on the court or too selfishly should i say i guess i have to start saying that otherwise people are gonna take it the wrong way um uh well i was gonna say something about oh tadashi and i want to say it about tadashi but also kirisuno i'm glad kuro said something but maybe at the same time as much like as it hurt me to see him that upset, I think maybe it was good that they did see that he got upset because now you know what bothers him. And once you start to know what might bother somebody, maybe now you know what to address or maybe what to avoid. But maybe in this scenario, I feel like you shouldn't avoid it. I feel like this is a topic that needs to be talked about for him because it seems like he doesn't ever talk to anyone about his feelings. And how is he ever supposed to um resolve this this trauma or this complex that he might have you know when you're only getting your own negative thoughts constantly swir swirling around you need a different perspective a different way to look at it so that you can kind of get yourself out of that negative mindset and under the way you understand your situation or you're thinking about your situation may not be the healthiest way to look at it or may not even be the right way to look at it or it may not be what the situation actually is. I mean, he looks at everything like there's just no hope, and I hate that. Like, I think a lot of people can relate to feeling hopeless, and I just, it sucks when you see someone else feeling that way, and, and feeling like they're inferior, like they'll never be enough. Like, I relate to it a lot. I always compare myself to other people, and I always feel like I'm never as good as them, or never will be, and it's a shitty feeling. It's a shitty place to be mentally and I just I sympathize I empathize because I, I I am there all the time mentally um just like there like in that place it sucks and um so when Tadashi asked Sho like what would you say to him where he goes his response to him saying I wouldn't say anything because I don't even know if he wants to be on this court so why would I waste my time trying to convince someone who doesn't even want to play it's just like I'm yeah I'm, I'm wasting my time I'm wasting my breath it's gonna go in one ear and out the other and it's like you're assuming he doesn't want to play but that's just what he wants you to think maybe or maybe he doesn't even want you to think that maybe that's just what you guys how you interpret his behavior and that's, maybe that's not even his intention um and I don't think that it is but um I think he was asking show because he wants to figure out what he should say to him as his best friend he's always trying to avoid talking about anything that may upset him he's always trying to i think boost his confidence and his ego because i just think he doesn't really have one like he doesn't have any confidence and like his ego is very small which can be an issue like when you have little to no confidence in yourself it's a problem um 
And so, yes, he's always trying not to ruffle those feathers, but out of respect to him, but I think that you do need to push him. Because if you don't, he's never going to talk. Never. And you saw how he deflected it with Kuro, like... Yeah, he's probably going to do that. But maybe coming from you, his best friend... Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Maybe he'll be less likely to deflect. But, um... Maybe not. Maybe... He is still going to deflect. That means you just got to push harder and push harder and push harder until he screams and he breaks and he gets angry and he lets all of that frustration out and he cries. And then maybe, just then maybe, he'll be more willing to talk. Because clearly this whole like beating around the bush, trying not to, you know, ruffle his feathers or um, disturb, d disrupt the, the, the waters or whatever, make waves. It's not accomplishing anything. He's staying the same. So we gotta try something different. And it's gonna suck. And I know it's gonna suck, because you don't want to hurt your friend. But he's gonna benefit from this, ultimately. And that's what you gotta tell yourself. Like, I know I'm gonna hurt him, but he needs, he needs this. He needs to feel a little hurt so that he can just let all this shit out so that I know what he's struggling with so that I know how to finally help him. Because how am I going to help him if I don't know why he's struggling? And if he's not going to tell you on his own, you're going to make him tell you. And I just feel bad for the kid. Like, why are you so closed off? I want to figure it out so bad. And if the coach says something like, all right, well, if I could tell you're not giving it your all. I'm going to have to bench you. We're going to have to change up rotation. I don't even think Suki would fight for his position. I think he'd just be like, okay, and then ultimately he might even quit the team. Maybe not, though. Maybe it'll push him to do better. But with the way that he is, I don't think it will. I think it's going to take somebody pushing him. What's your problem? What's wrong with you? Why are you so closed off? Why won't you talk to me? This, that, and just... Don't let him walk away. You t if he tries to walk away, you get back in front of him and you hold him there. No, you're not going to walk away. Maybe, like, push him a little bit, like, on his shoulders. Like, come on, come on. Like, tell me. Tell me what's wrong. What's wrong? Something. Like, just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. You have to. You have to. Anyway, all right. I'm going to stop talking. I'm sorry. I got to record Psycho Pass. So, <sighs> Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Other than that, I am going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.